and then I'm gonna have it right about here, I think. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Hello, Skelevatorites and friends of Skelevator and those of you who are just curious and tuning in to see what is this massive Snake Mountain build that this guy's talking about. Well, I'm continuing to work on this this weekend. It's a nice three-day weekend, so I'm hoping, hoping to get a lot of work done. Um, the styrofoam that I added or the spray foam that I added, um, I'm going to be carving away at that and get all these extra wonky parts smoothed out. I also happened upon this nice big chunk of soft packing styrofoam and I'm going to use the um, hot wire cutter to carve away the sort of Muppet face. I, it's the large demon face. I always call it the Muppet face. Um, and I'm going to create the basic shape for that. I'm going to open up the mouth of that area over here, place that face there. And I also went to Home Depot this morning uh, and got some more of this uh, insulation foam and that means I'm going to be carving away the main spires that I'm going to attach so that it'll extend up all the way up to here. This is going to be exactly four feet tall for the person who commissioned this and so I've got these areas. This area here um, is the top platform so these spires are going to extend up past that. This thing's going to be nice and tall. And I also have an extra piece of insulation board and I'm going to be creating the wolf gate with this. And the wolf gate is actually going to be right here because this pathway leads right up to that. And then the wolf gate entrance is going to be right here. It won't be visible from the front, which is kind of cool, but it will be visible from the other side. Hey, tune into Toy Frenzy on Thursday nights right here on this channel. See you there. Okay, so I got this design uh, roughly sketched out based on, um, you know, going a little bit bigger than the Masterverse Catra figure that I have right here. And I'm gonna get out the old uh, hot wire cutter, which I have ready here. Um, and I'm gonna take this over to the hot wire cutting area and that, and I'm gonna get these things cut up. Okay, here we go.
All right, I got everything cut up, and this is going to be where the wolf gate is. I think I'm gonna have this side be here, so I can have the gate open and close here. And I'm gonna put it right about, right here. Okay, let me do a little, let me do a little measuring and make sure it's not too tall. I'm just gonna have to trim just a little bit off the top here. Maybe make it even a little bit off the top here. Maybe make it even a little bit off the top here. Maybe make it even a little bit thinner here. So I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna glue that in. Oh, I gotta show you this. the demon face as well and it's a little bit bulky so I'm gonna carve down a little bit more after I install this um, again it's always best to over to make it oversized so you can trim away at it it's easier that way um, and then I'm gonna have it right about here I think oh yeah this is gonna be good Okay, so I'm going to be trimming away at this extra foam that I've added um, to create a sturdy foundation for the wolf gate. And I'm also going to be trimming away at this demon head. As you can see, the foam has expanded quite a bit here. And I'm going to be cutting all this away and um, hollowing out this eye socket. And also because of the bulkiness of the demon head right now, I'm going to be uh, scaling down a little bit in this size, um, which will hopefully allow me to accomplish some, some details that um, I'm anxious to accomplish. I'm going to start installing the spires um, using the Loctite glue. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started.
Okay, so look, I've got the spires on. I filled in some areas with spray foam. Um, the snake is looking solid. I added, I filled in a couple of little gaps here. Um, the demon face turned out real nice. Now I did fill in a few things with spray foam, as you can see. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a furrowed brow there. I'm gonna carve away at this stuff. Um, I'm just sort of sculpting with foam, uh, with the spray foam at this stage. But man, this thing's turning out pretty darn good. I'm excited. Um, I have more spires to add. I'm going to be trimming down some of the spires that are at the very top. But yeah, this thing is going to be exactly four feet tall, exactly four feet wide, just as specified by the person who commissioned this. Hey, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe and tell your friends about the Skelevator channel. And huge thank you to my Patreons. I'll see you in the next video.